Welcome, 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 beautiful Paris Saint Germain family. A star that the Paris Saint Germain have recently been linked with, which is Joao Neves. And I'm here and I brought a Liga Noche expert, Mr. David. Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome, uh, David. How you all doing, man? I hope everyone watching this video is having a good day. It's a good month. And it's almost back to PSG football. But for right now, while we're on break, we'll just give you this, a little bit of taste of what we have coming up with, it, with who is who is Joao Neves. Joao Neves is the best, is regarded as one of the best, or is the best academy product to leave the Benfica, Benfica Academy. He is a 19 year old, I think he's 19, right? He's, 19, he's a 19 year old center mid. Yeah. Or, or, or a six. He can play. He, he is very comfortable with the Portuguese starlet. He's the next up upcoming star, basically, from the Portuguese league. Yeah. And th there's one next player I've seen, like, comparisons. Oh, he's this new, 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 new. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll say, if, to, to, if people want to, like, base off, because, again, comps can make everyone look good. But if people want to have an idea who Joao Neves is, I'll say it's Verratti, man. I think Joao Neves is, is the closest thing. Some could some, some argue he could be better. Yeah, yeah, it's Verratti. Yeah. So yeah, just, I think that this is why it's, it's like a main target for PSG because PSG to this day is trying to replace Verratti. When I see like a short oh. guy making those tackles that he makes, that's that's why I, I used to see from Verratti all the time. But for me, Joao Neves, David, is is the complete package that he got. He plays very deep for Benfica, but yeah. when he gets the ball in more offensive areas, it's not like, oh, what should I do here? No, he can put that pass, the assist. He, he can score that he, goal. I, I think that's that, that's 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 like um a mis that's why I don't like about like the stuff about him playing six. I I don't like I, I don't want people to package him as a six. He can play anywhere on the field. He can play on the left, the right, the middle, the, uh, up top. He can play as a six, eight, ten. He's that good because he's a he's the only what would I say? He's a two way dribbler right now. He's a two way dribbler in the sense that. Like so, look at look at from PSG. Uh, Fabian, Fabian and Bettini are one-way dribblers. Whenever when you watch football, whenever Fabian gets the ball, he always leans towards his left because he's predominantly le left with it. Whenever Bettini gets the ball, Alzheimer. Whenever they get the ball, they can go from they always move to the right. He's like John. I can say like John Evans is like the 2010s Spanish midfielder, the Iniesta, the Javi, all, all, all San, San, Santi Carzola. If you give him the ball. He can dribble and pass through his left or the right. And that's what makes him so special, man. Yeah. Like whenever you watch him on the field, back to goal, whenever he gets the ball, you, defend, you can't predict where he's turning to because he can turn on his left and turn on his right. He can pass on his left and he can pass on his right. He will drop you, he'll drop you on his left and he's like, it makes him so dynamic. And that's why his hype, his hype right now is off the roof. It, was, it wasn't this wasn't this big, but I think after the Inter game, and I think after this season alone, people are seeing like he's actually the real deal. He's five nine. He's he, he's five nine. He picked. He carries the ball so predominantly so well. He's an exceptional talent, man. He's a, he's a very like it's crazy. It's crazy how good he's for that young age. It's actually like scary how he, how like how good he be if he under the right coach under the right system. How good he be because right now I, I believe any coach. He's like the, I want to say Kamavinga, because Kamavinga wasn't built, wasn't made. I'm, I, I, for me right now, I don't believe Kamavinga has reached the, his potential. I, don't, I know it's too early, but I feel like someone like John Neve is so young, he can build, he can build a clean slate on him and make him who he is, basically. Yeah. You can, you can turn him into, into an elite florizer, an elite, like a destroyer. He, can, he has every every facility of the game right now at, at this young age. And it's crazy because some people can look at him like, a five, why is a 5'9 guy being so involved in defensive action of the pitch? Because this man, he like he runs into things like pit bull, man. As, as the Portuguese, he's the, they say in Portuguese though, but what in English is, they call him the, pit bull, the Portuguese pit bull because he runs, he never stops running. He has the engine of a, he has the engine of a, of a Bernardo Silva, the, the technique of a Verratti, and the vision of a Tony Cruz. At that young age, man. What are you buying? Like he's a whole package. Oh. And I think like something like like from the clips and from the pictures you can see, you can see him everywhere. The, the, his passing range, just everything. He's come. I think that's what something that's very scary because everyone in Europe wants him. From everywhere we have, you can see his. Yes, his passes are anticipated. The passive completion, the progressive passes, the dribbles, the tackle. You can see the the tackle. Like is like what, everything you see here is the whole package basically. Yeah. Uh, again, this is someone predominantly playing as a six. 
Because right now he's playing between Alfonso Luis right now. Mind you, he'll play, like, he's, he, he's playing way far away from goal. I see his stats, man. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a genius. He's a genius. No, you see, pass attempted 90th plus percentile, pulse completion 90th plus percentile, but also progressive passes, successful take ons, tackles, blocks, and even has good aerials one for being that short. The only thing he should improve a bit is maybe progressive carries. But when you look at this graph, for example, here, he can't progressive carry. It's just that he doesn't yes. do it enough. And obviously, Benfica, they have had a little bit of a roller coaster season this season. I mean, they were one of the worst teams in the Champions League, just statistically, how many goals they're conceding and so on. But Joao yeah. Neves is still like, would you say he's performed as their best player this season? I'll say he's one of the best players this year. I'll say I'll still say Di Maria is the best player this year. He yeah. always carries them whenever they in tough notch. I will not blame I'll blame Benfica's dip in performance in Champions League down to the coach or the not I won't blame it to the players. Because he had he had beef with Luis to Luis and he mismanaged Koksu, the new signing around Koksu. Yeah. Who I also appreciate, man. Because in the beginning of the season of, of the Ligonos season and Champions League of so Benfica, he played a double pivot of Koksu and Juan Neves. Realistically, Cox is in number 10. John Neves is, John Neves is, is a 90 year old first time in Champions League. Yeah. He can run a, a, a 10 and it like is I mean it could work in some, in some water football, but it didn't work for them. They, they were they were easy to cut through. Antonio Silva giving away red cards in, especially in the inter game. So yeah, that will cost them. But ever since Florida Luis has come back into the starting level and, and Cox has been benched or moved to the 10, it's been yeah. like it's been like a snap of like they've been cooking. They're even cooking. Like, he's, uh, he's like a brand new man. Like, with, with this picture up right now, you can see his, you can see the like, players who are similar to him. Like, like you see the Bruno G's, you see the Yuri Talismans, you see Rodri, you see Casimero, you see Tomas Parte. All these players are all elite or close to elite players or future elite players, man. Other than maybe Yuri Talisman, so people could say. But, but that he yeah. is similar to both Casimiro and Rodri and Bruno, who are all different kinds of midfielders. Rodri oh, yeah. is, you know, that Busquets, passing range, all of that. Casimiro more that destroyer. Bruno can do everything. And that he has similarity to all of them shows just how complete he is as a player. Yeah, it shows how, like, how he has every facility of the football, of the game. Just at this young age, at, the, at this again, I'll keep referencing it at this young age because it's, it's not very often. I don't know, like maybe Zaire, I mean, the Kobe yeah. Minos and stuff, but it's even like some people could even argue that he's better than Zaire. Mean. I've seen the arguments as well. Like, some, someone could say the arguments I've, I've, I've seen is that compared to Zaire, Zaire is more physical and faster, but who has a better passing range? You, John Neves. Who's a better dribbler? John Neves is a better dribbler. So uh, you, 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 you pick a poison, basically who you like, who you prefer. But some people, there's an argument between who is better. So like, I, I see why 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 can we have two? Two two is always better than one. So like, the thing with him, like also with this graph right now, we can see him compared to Enzo Fernandez. Yeah, so he's much better in defensive duels. Passes received per ninety, pretty much the same. Progressive passes per ninety. I mean, that's pretty much Enzo's best strength. So he's he's going to be better than anyone else at that, right? Juan Neves isn't that far away. Dangerous passes per 90, a bit farther away. Go creating actions, I think, per 90. But then aerial duels. And then dribbles is also better than Enzo Fernandez. So, like, the difference between... And this is Juan Neves' last season as well, David. Yeah, his first season, his first season in, top, in, like, in, in the top league. First, 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 say, first professional season compared to Enzo, Enzo, Enzo's best season. Because he started replacing him when, when Enzo left for Chelsea, right? Yup. He promoted him faster. Yeah. yeah. He promoted him after Enzo left. And then even... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's like... It's so impressive, man. Because, again, you, well, I gotta find this is, this is his second... Like, this is his second professional season. And already, like, all the likes... The likes of Man United want him. Chelsea. Chelsea want everybody. Chelsea want him. Juventus want him. PSG want him. Yeah. Man City want him. Everybody's... Everyone's looking for everyone wants him because the player, the player, the, there's a player in, in him that you can that when, once you have him, he locks up a position for the next decade. And people want that player, man. Yeah. The question. So the money, the money question is, is who gets him? I mean, who gets? I don't know who gets him. I don't know who gets him because it's a hundred mil. I don't think Benfica will sell for less. I think it's hundred mil with so many people. It has to be hundred mil. So I believe. I don't. No, he he, he has a. Most likely a be PSG. I think he has a one twenty. 
120 release clause and they want to up it to 140 from what i've read yeah i believe i believe they would up it because again like i said and from the rumors he's rumored to be the best talent to ever leave the academy in the a9 skills the real robert kobuka all the pod all live they all love him but I feel like he can do everything. Brother, I thought he could block. He's better than he's twice as good as Felix man. Like he has like every facility. And again, I'll keep referencing the two-way dribbler because the is the essence of a two-way dribbler is is that we don't have that much two-way dribblers in war in war football right now. The, the, I think the closest, the last two-way dribbler we had was probably Neymar. Because you get Neymar with the, the ball on the left. Come, I, I don't you mess as a two-way injury because he's okay. No, he's always cussing on his left, yeah. yeah exactly. So like I think I think it's probably Neymar. I don't think there's anyone right now that still plays as a two-way dribbler. Maybe I, I wouldn't even Would say that Bar- because I would not say Bar oh, he could give he could give Bar no 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 no. Because if if you the way you watch Duanev, wait, 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 he has no weak side, man. He can like he's passing. He can pass on his left and pass on his right. Like whenever someone is good on both legs, you can see it. Like as David Villa said in an interview before, whenever you're good on both legs, you see that at the age of 22, 23. We're seeing we're seeing now at 19. At 19, come on, I think I wasn't passing this one at 19. Zayem isn't passing this one at 17. Like all these guys are not doing what they're doing. He's doing it already at 19. It's, it's insane. It's it, like it's it's insane. And I think that's why many many clubs and many top not like we're not seeing the Dortmund, we're not seeing the the Fire North, we're not seeing the West Ham. We're seeing the big. I want most of these big clubs because yeah. the scouts are telling like all these scouts are telling like bro. This dude is doing all this stuff at 19. He's a, he's a player for the future. Like that's why all these top clubs want him to want him to lock down a position. And I f- I feel like the mark the battle for him this summer will, will be incredible. So then we come to you know to the important question: Would you slash 120 million euros this summer on Joao Neves? Let's do this. We can maybe dive here. Because <sighs> if he's this good, David. We do it. <laughs> but the thing, okay, 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 I'll say this. I would, I would splash. I would have said yes without a doubt. But well, my reason, again, I would not mind the signing. But my reason for, for my, I have my reasons. I have two reasons for why they want to, I would not splash a hundred plus million on Nevs for a, as a PSG fan. Yeah, because at PSG we have we have. We have Javi Simmons. We have Ugarte. We have <laughs> Oscardo. We have Bettinia. We have Kangi Lee. Uh, we have two other midfielders, Fabian, and uh, potentially a Kimmick or Bruno G. Uh, but... I would not mind. I would mind. I would not mind Joan Neves. I would have, I forget of Zion Emery. How do I forget of Zion Emery? Have, so that's about eight to nine midfielders. I would not mind Joan Neves. By me. I know as a young man, he needs to play. He needs to play week in, week out to get better. To get to like, I don't think benching him or I don't think benching him or, or put, putting him in a rotation where he will barely play due, due to the pecking order and stuff will yeah. do him justice. If we, if we do sell about two midfielders, like a Fab, if we somehow, somehow sell Fabian Soler and maybe Asensio or we, loan, we sell Ugarte or something, or, or sell Ugarte or something, then yes, I see happening. But what? if, but 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 with with how much peg? Because again, we're expecting more Scardo and Javi Simmons come as well. I feel like there's too much midfielders for so many limited limited positions. But especially for the coach. I mean, th- then I have two questions for you. The first one is, we obviously know. I mean, this is not a question. This is more of a statement. Joao Neves, David, would suit what we play on the Lucha perfectly. Why? Because he's, he's, he's so great he's, with the ball and so great without the ball. And those are the two most important stuff under Lucho. When you have the ball, you're technical, you have good ball retention. He has that. Without the ball, as he said, he has the stamina of a bull and the tackling of a Marco Verratti. So if this guy is available, you got to get him, David. When, when we had Keylor Navas, who was the top three, top two goalkeeper in the world at his time, in his prime, after that semifinal, yeah. Donnarumma yeah. was available, and we didn't care. So yeah, but, but I again, think we should the, just the, do the, the same. But yeah, but the Donnarumma thing was like Donnarumma was free. 
Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, we are spending 100 plus mil. I mean, again, I would not mind it because I would love Joao Neves at PSG. And I would and love my PSG. He has, he has Portuguese team. So like, we're, we're building a very Portuguese, Brazilian, French squad. So, like, if, if you slot right in with, with the Nunos, with the Gonzalo, Danilos, the Vitinhas, you slot right in. Like, like, yeah, yeah. All, like Portugal and Brazil are quite, quite close countries. Some, like, we've seen over the water for Pepe, the Costa, they're all like, they all flip flap between each other. I mean, yeah. that, that that just like the history of PSG, the the Rai, the Pauletas, like they Pauletas, always love yeah. this club. Um, and then my second question would be: w since the summer, David, when Verratti departed the club, we have obviously seen that Lucho wants this world class midfielder that is a bit older as well, that has the experience. If we go really far in the Champions League, if we possibly win. Maybe we don't need that player. Maybe we don't need that Bruno or Kimmich. And we can sign this Joao Neves. Because from the recent report, I saw that Lucho still wants that kind of a player. And we obviously know how much he wanted Bruno Guimaraes uh, in the January transfer window. But you think watching enough comps of uh, Joao Neves can get Lucho to be like, you know what? Let's take the risk. I mean, he's seen how Beraldo has been a success, such a successful transfer. Why not? I'll try this again. I, I know it's this. a lot of money, but we got money. We got money, man. Yeah. I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. Because I know Campos, Campos has been trying, like, Campos has been trying to push it. Campos, Campos has been trying to get him since he broke into the scene at Benfica. Yeah. I'll say Lucho could be convinced if we see him no, perform no Oh, Euros. Euros, uh, yeah. but, if, but if he, he won't start. If, 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 if he gets called up to the Euros, because I, I believe he'll make the squad. He, he didn't make the friendly squad, but I, I do believe he, he will make the squad. So yeah, that's where I keep. That's why, again that would even bring more eyes on him during the Euros if he gets called up to the squad, which he, which he should. Like I know he got a call to the twenty twenty ones, but he should make the the Euro squad. I believe then we'll know because. I need kids. Excuse me, Fitter, the, the Lucho was like Bruno G uh, already cost 100 mil. I don't see I don't see PSG splashing 100, 100 back to back 100 mils on, on, on like, you know, like, in yeah, midfield, not, basically. I mean, yeah, we're not doing both, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so I, I know some people would rather prefer Bruno G because he, like, he's more of a confirmed player than a Juan Neves because Juan Neves is like 119. Yeah, but it's, it's up for debate, man. For me, I believe, I believe both have player for player. Bruno right now is better than him, but I don't think in the next two, three, two, three years it's become like a conversation. Respectfully, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's like like because the 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 first because he there's some things Bruno can do right now that John S can do, but some things that John. That, that Jonas can do that's but that's so many things Jonas can do right now that Bruno, Bruno can dream can never dream of to doing man. Like the passing range, the dribbling, the picking yeah. the ball, the running for the like like the pass he's like his passing range is, is crazy on both feet, man. At that younger age, it's just insane to me. Yeah, because like I think two, three months ago when the, the Mbappe news came out and we were already looking at the the upcoming transfer window. I was looking, oh, we signed like three to four bling bling signings. But I think Beraldo <laughs> has changed my mind completely. Because if you sign that generational talent, David, that elite talent, got, he doesn't need money. to be 27. He doesn't need to be 26. He doesn't need to be in the prime. Like he can come here, be 19. Like Beraldo, what? He's like 19, 20. Come here and perform as one of our best players. And yeah, and you st and he, and he, then, and then what happens? You lock up one position for the next decade, man. Then in the future, all you need for right now to, for, for the next window is big. You just a star signing to just up the level. Yeah. I think that's that's the idea. Campos, Nasser, and, pro and hopefully Lucho so are trying to build right now. Yeah, yeah, keep us signing pieces, 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 pieces. And it's gonna get to a point maybe a season from now or, or two seasons from now. It's just gonna be like, like one, say, one like, big signing or two big signings, then boom, or, or like Champions League favorites and stuff. Yeah, because these young players, it's two positive things with them, David. The first thing is they come with low wages. 
that helps you know the future of the club bruno would get like a three 300k a week at least 350. Mm -hmm. joao neves is probably sitting uh let me, let me check uh I, I can guess i'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to make you guess he hasn't extended yet i think i want to say like five ten k do it check it check i want to say five five thousand or ten thousand we can check yeah, let me know if I'm close. Then just what? Oh, at 18. Yeah, so he's on 18 k. We could bump that up to like 60, 70. Yep. Nothing special, yeah. and then that would be an extremely good wage for the upcoming three to four years. Then we extend him, bump it up. It would be extend easier. It. But I think the mo most important thing is that he actually builds a relationship with the club. We saw how we, when we saw Marquinhos and Verratti at a young age, David, they loved the club. They became part of the club. Whilst when you sign a player that has already created history with another club, like a Neymar, like a, I don't know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. For, like, for example, Thiago Silva, when he came here, we saw pure love. When Cavani came here, we saw pure love. But then you have some other players that came at an older age that, you know, didn't show that. Maybe Neymar, maybe Dani Alves. Um, Trying to think of more names. Um, I mean, th th yeah, they were extremely old, but yeah, I don't know. But there are a lot of positives about getting uh, the signing. So just give me a yes or no, David. Would I sign him? Yeah, you're um, the sporting yeah. director of PSG. If if we, we were not get to, if we're not gonna get a senior midfielder, I would sign him. Yes. No, but would you sign him over a senior midfielder? Yes, 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 yes. I'll say yes, yes. Let's go then. Because I've, I've seen his uh, Rangers comp away, and I liked it a lot. Why? Because I know that Rangers is a tough place to go to. And the pressure didn't bro, affect bro, him. He has bro, that aura. Bro, he has that mentality. Who watches goal watch, watch goal versus sport team, man? Oh, just, oh from the corner kick? From the corner kick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what a player. Again, that game, if we watch that game, Sporting had them on lock. But no, again, Fulton had everyone on lock, but the only person that they that, that, that gave Benfica who was him so at 19. So that was a derby. And only uh, and 19 was, was, was decided. Like it's crazy, man. It's crazy because Sporting are giants, man. Sporting like of you players and everything right now. Like in terms of Oligonos right now. Yeah. But 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 this kid, this kid from nine, this 19 year old kid was, was working them. Like, it was crazy. He's, he's he's such a player. He's such a player that any team would want. Plus, he plays with a tucked in shirt. That's weird, but I like it. No, no, no. it makes him different. <laughs> we have more, we have more Scardo skin hair. I'm having a 19 tucked in shirt, man. I'll say, like, if people want, if people who want, like, people who like the, if you were purist, even though not close to comparison, he's basically any elite 2010 Spanish midfielder. That's what he is right now. No, 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 no. Like, Spanish know, midfielders like, don't have the defensive ability. Of, that's why, no, like, the no, comparison no, like, to Verratti no. goes so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess that one because the way he dribbles, like, you just have to see him dribble. What, what, just have to see him. How dribble. would you rank? How would you rank like his abilities, like uh, dribbling, uh, passing, uh, technique? Ooh, I would say defending. Okay, like, like one, to, like read them. Like, up, what's first? What's second? What's last? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I don't think that's possible, man. Cause they're all, they're all equally good. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. No, because because he excels in everything. No, because you seem to talk about good. dribbling a lot. So I I would guess it's dribbling, no, no, or at least that's the most I, special no, thing. No, I, I say I say dribbling is be, is because right now whenever you if you again if you watch like like only just just pay pay attention next time like when when when, um, when we, like PSG play whenever Fabian picks up the ball he always drives with his left. Vitinha drives with right. This man, this boy, when I say this boy, this man, this boy can, who will turn you with his left or his right. So as, as you try to defend him, you don't know where he's going to turn. So he, he keeps you guessing every time. And he can do it effortlessly. This young age. If you like, oh, if you like, like, um, Verratti against Chelsea, or Verratti against, um, uh, Verratti and, and Rabiot versus um, Barca, when Rabiot was just moving around, like, like, moving around, like, he, like he was, like, Hulik or something. Like, <laughs> He's unpredictable. He's very unpredictable, man. He's very, very un unpredictable. I, I think what pleases me a lot, man. And why I would want him at PSG because I believe he could be 
of like a future floor raiser. I feel like he could do everything a Cruz, Modric, and Bernardo Silva can do all in one player. All, the, all, all we do for the clubs, all all in one player at, one, at the same time. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't you, can, you guys said, oh, that's that's a lot because yeah, yeah. But trust me, just you just need to watch one of these good games. Oh, again, I don't say one, he has a lot of good games, but just watch one of, and you see you see the stuff I'm seeing, man. Especially the sporting game or the inter game, like he's, he's a crazy player. He's a crazy player. He's a very good player. I'm trying to get up. All right then. I think uh, people have now understood the player Joao Neves is. Uh, we will obviously keep talking about him in, in, in future podcasts and everything, maybe watching some comps here and there and following the reports and seeing how, how PSG are going after this player. Uh, but that's been it. Like the video if you enjoyed it, share it to people so they get to know who Joao Neves is. That's been it from your boy PSG and David. And as usual, Ale Ale. Ale Paris. Paris.